Good afternoon. This is Chris Brecher with the Simpler Stocks free video for January 27th, 2017. It's about 23 minutes after the bell. I just got off of a really good session on Simpler Stocks on the gold side in here. So what was the market all about today? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. ES is unchanged. NASDAQ up 25. And let me just tell you right now on how I look at this in here. The NASDAQ has been going up because everybody thought every earnings were going to be perfect. The idea is it was priced to perfection. Google's earnings after the close, stock's down about $21. Why did that seem significant to me? NASDAQ. Go and check this out right here and I'll show you. NASDAQ on an hourly chart, finally, finally got under its ATR trailing stop. Now on a daily, it's extended. We were, I actually put this on the email alerts this morning for all our subscribers that every time the NASDAQ on a daily chart gets overbought, it doesn't mean it goes down, but it usually has a little bit of a pause. Right here, over the ATR trailing stop, sell off. Over here, slight sell-off over the ATR trailing stop. Right here, about five days are just sitting here. And now we have another one overbought. The second thing you're seeing in here, on the right, and we teach this all the time, ATR trailing stop, we broke under the ATR trailing stop, and we got oversold on an hourly, except this time, instead of going to a new high to work off the oversold, we stayed down. And sure enough, the NASDAQ closed on its low for the day. Obviously, a lot of that is because of what happened to Google after the close in here. So by the end of the day, like I said, ES is unchanged. NASDAQ up tw all of 25 cents, was up about 13 right before the close. Russell down 670. Bonds having a little bit of an uptick up 13. You have the industrials up 32 again, 20,100. Isn't that nice? You have the SPX down 169. Transport's having another good day, up 47, led by good results from Southwest Airlines in there. You had crude oil up a point, you had uh, up a dollar, you had gold down about $10, silver down 20 cents, and a good day for the dollar in the air. You had the advanced decline, all day just stuck around the zero line. That's how you know it was going to be a flat day. This is what I put in the title today. Everybody was waiting for Google. Did you really want to commit a lot of money to Google before or to Amazon or to Facebook until after the earnings were out? No. And that's why I thought we'd get, guess what? A doji. A lot of times, a stock will have a doji, an indecision candle, prior to an event. This time, because Google was such a big deal, the entire market had a doji. Very curious in there. So just keep that in mind. So uh, by the end of the day, VIX. Down 18 cents. VIX futures down a bit. Nikkei having another great day up 300 in here. Yeah, the German DAX up about three tenths of a percent. Chinese market up about four tenths of a percent. So where does this put us in the market? I hate to say it, in the same spot we were in before. Straight up mode. Over uh, got oversold on an hourly, but we sure we could ride this down for a while in here. Remember, if we sell off. There isn't really support till down here at uh, 5100, 5079. I'm not saying we're going there, but I'm just saying you can't dismiss that possibility. On the other hand, everything we teach, you're above every moving average in ATR trailing stop. You just can't just say automatically that we're gonna go. We're gonna go down. This could be just a temporary blip before the next surge. Now, just to let you know. On the simpler stocks, silver and the gold side, we were discussing earnings plays. The, the, uh, uh, the name of the game right now is trading earnings. Before earnings, you can trade the stocks because sometimes if they open up prior to uh, the day of the earnings, let's say the earnings are at night and the stock opens either way too high or way too low, you can combine that with charting patterns and make a lot of money. We were doing them today in Wind Resorts. And we were doing it in PayPal where they worked just beautifully in there. So that was pretty exciting to tell everybody in there. So what we're going to be doing also, looking at unusual option activity. And let me show you on how I save people money in our site. We like doing neutral trades. They're called butterflies. 
buy call or put put butterflies uh, the day before the earnings, if the earnings are the next morning, or the day of if the earnings are at night. The idea is you're betting on the volatility contracting, that it gets too big prior to an event. This is where I hope I help in here. JMPR. Expected move looks like, oh, it's a doll of a dollar eighty. You have to combine what I'm showing you with charts. You have to combine that also with the option activity. Later in the day, we saw option time and sales in JMPR. And the biggest option trades going across was buying volatility, not selling it. When you see somebody buying the straddle, that usually means the stock's going to have an outside move. And sure enough, it's right now down two points. So those are the type of things I try to show people on our site. So just to let you know, we still have the seven-day, 30-day trial. And that includes a number of things in here. It includes in the morning. The chat room from 9 to 10 in the morning, where I'm on live every single day. The other thing, on the gold side, I'm on three days a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for the last hour. The other thing, we have a premium video, a lot more in depth than what you're hearing now and a lot more stock specific. Email alerts. I'm very proud of this, that every night or every morning, I put out at least six index and futures charts to give you an overall perspective of the market and at least stock six stock trades and chart ideas. I try to show option activity when I see it. I also like to put that in the option video at night. So I hope everybody's enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great night and I will talk to you tomorrow.